Are you looking for some new projects to back this month? Let's take a look at what is coming to crowdfunding in September. So we have a few games so far that we're going to take a look at. Northwest, which is live now and ending soon. Raw, which just kicked off yesterday, but also ends pretty soon. Minecart Town, which has a little bit more time to it, uh, a couple of weeks, I believe. The Terra New Beginnings. Puerto Rico is coming and Speakeasy is coming. So let's take a look. First up, we have Northwest. This is a cool uh, tile lane type of looking game. Not sorry, not tile, like they're dice, but like you, you're moving the this hiker around and you pick up these dice and then you're trying to create this little play spot for it. Um, the components look really cool. This one, you have 14 days left, so two weeks left to back this. Let's take a look at it. Uh, so, oh, they call it a Tableau building game. Um, and of course, this is going to be Deluxified. Ooh, a wooden exploration board. That's neat. Uh, wooden tokens, the rule book, of course. So you're going to move your hiker and build your Tableau. Uh, you can try and look ahead, I guess. Oh, there's Jenna. We love Jenna. And the rule book. So that is something to take a look at. You have a deluxe copy for 30 Canadian dollars. That is a very good price for all of those components. Um, what do they say for their shipping? $15 flat rate. So you're actually looking at a $45 game, which is uh, pretty good. So let's take a look now at Raw. This just launched. This is a reprinting. Uh, as well as they have added their new game in here. You have 16 to days to go on this one, touting their expansion for 15 US, about 21 Canadian. They have their Pharaoh expansion for 21, their new game Ritzia for 20. Uh, you can get the Raw and Write, which I believe is actually very difficult to find right now, for 25. The Standard Edition for 40, and the Pharaoh Edition with all the deluxe components for 90. Uh, ooh, <laughs> get even acrylics, even more deluxe for 100. Uh, so let's take a look at those. Raw is more of a bidding type of game, so it's not for me. I don't like that kind of social interaction. Uh, I prefer a little bit less uh, take that -y when it comes to player to player. I want the game to punish players versus the uh, players to punish players. And this acrylic version has all of these beautiful components here. That's quite nice. Uh, and then it's a how to play to raw. Raw is an existing game, so that that's good there. So you can give that one a check out. Next up is Minecart Town. Establish the most efficient Minecart Town in a one to four player tile placement game. I do love me a tile placement game. Um, brought to you right from Japan. Actually, I love a lot of the games that are coming out of Japan. Um, I'm excited to actually see a lot of them when it comes to Essen. So what do they have for pledges here? Oh, you can get a print and play for 15. The base game for 45, base game plus a print and play for 55. Um, so there doesn't seem to be any actual deluxe type of stuff here. 30 to 60 minutes, one to four players, 10 plus. Players start with nothing but a mine and a forest and only four rounds to turn this into a victory worthy town. Ooh, that's interesting. That sounds very quick and complex, not, not too complex. With simultaneous play. So you can resource, build, construction, 72 unique tiles. I like the artwork here. I love that there's a little bit of route building going on here. That's cute. Looks like you're going to build and connect your tracks so you can transport your resources. So you got a little bit of a pick up and deliver with some route building. So that looks neat. I might actually consider backing this one. I don't back a lot of crowdfunding. This is all for you to take a look at. Uh, what I have managed to uh, pick out that looks worthy of backing. There's a ton of stuff that always comes on. Uh, so we can take a look at all of those. Next up is Natera New Beginnings. Oh, look at those beavers. Those are some cute beavers. Oh, those are amazing components too. I'm liking the look of this. So four seasons, players will compete to gain the most venture points and achieve objectives. During a season, each player takes turns doing one action and one season when all players... Here, great content, me reading the screen that you can read, isn't it? Uh, oh, I love it when they have gifts of what is going on. These components look quite nice. Reaching the serve, blue player exploration card. Hire specialists. This actually looks pretty neat. Claim objectives. So what do you get? 
uh, a pre-stretch deluxe edition. Uh, all stretch content. Oh, so this is not an expansion. This is a brand new game. That's that's very that's very cool. Uh, so you have the deluxe version, which has all those wooden tokens and premium card stock that we've seen. You get a free micro expansion. So you've got your board, your rule book, your player boards. Are these double walled? Yes, they are double layered. That's very nice. I love it when they do that. Tribe cards, specialist cards. I hope these are all full-size cards. They look like they're full-size cards. I'm not a fan of mini cards. Tons of wooden tokens and some awesome wooden tokens that are screen printed. I think I'm going to want to play the beavers, if those are players. Uh, as you know, I am the Canadian here, right? Oh, and you can play it on Tabletop Simulator. So I actually might give that a check out. So let's take a look at that later. So make sure you subscribe and see if that... Oh, my friends have already backed it. So we might even need to get a copy. Puerto Rico is launching on September 12th. There hasn't been any new updates yet or any teaser artwork, so you can check out my previous video on that going through this campaign. And then last up this month on September 26th is a new Vita Lacerda game called Speakeasy. This one is not kicking it for me. I'm not too much of a fan of this theme. Um, I do love Vital's games, um, but this theme, this artwork, uh, not winning me over very much, but... Vita Lacerda is very popular. This campaign is probably going to be popular, so it's worth giving a check out. With that, that's it for me. Come back again in October for another list of what's coming up in October. And make sure you like, subscribe, heart, repost, all that lovely stuff. It all helps me push the content out and grow my following uh, now that I'm back at this. So see you next time.